Good afternoon, crafting friends. This is Cheryl Ann. Today is Friday, July 5th. It is in the afternoon, and um, I did just want to do an update on the um, Farmer's Market Journal. Um, you know, one of my good friends, and she's actually bought a couple of journals from me, um, told me, <laughs> she made the comment, and she really made me start thinking. Um, she said on the Americana one, you know, it was a recipe book. Well, no, it wasn't. I suppose you could use it for that. Um, it's it's already sold, so I'm, I'm going to make another one. But she got me to think that, you know, I, I need to do more to really um, show the theme. So it, she really got me thinking, is what I'm trying to say. So I went back and looked at Gina at the rebookery, and um, she completely, she, sometimes she will completely paint her covers. And um, I laid out these pieces of fabric here for the the inside of the um, farmer's market one, but you guys are going to faint when you see the front. Oh my goodness. I, I tried, I tried to save it. <laughs> I really did. I tried to save it. I was going to, you know, put stuff here and put stuff there. And, and going back to what this gal said, I thought, no, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to completely, I'm just going to hide everything. It's a really nice, sturdy, there, it's well held up. The rings work well. They work easy. And I thought, you know what? No, I'm just going to build it up from scratch. There aren't, there's not going to be any of this showing, any of this. I will, I will cover the front. So I have my fabric laid out for the front. See, I like to start at the edge and then I like to go in. And I do make it, whoopsie, I do make it um, longer than what I need. And then I just, when I cut it off, I just use that on the edges of the pages. So this is how, this is the center. See, that's the spine there. And then um, I did use that chilly one. Oh my God, that's so cute. And I, I kind of decide where I want to center these. Like here, I really want, I really want the blueberries. And it's okay if these overlap. And honestly, it's better if they do. And then, of course, we have to have the chickens. <laughs> Mr. Rooster here. He has to be, he has to be on the front. Because it is farmer's market. And, you know, you do buy eggs at the farmer's market. And you do buy sunflowers. And berries and chilies and carrots and peppers and so I think you know and and when you have your fabric you know lay it down and and play with it you know I may not this may not be the final this may not be the final layout I may change it again but it gives me some ideas um, like I'm I'm not really sure about this this black. Although I have the white here and the white here, so it does make a contrast. So I don't know. We'll see. And you know, I still haven't used I still haven't used I haven't used that one. So I may, you know, I may change it again. But um I wanna I wanna thank her for her comment because she really she really pushed me to go outside my own comfort zone. I mean, I would have I would have tried to save the cover and I would have tried to glue stuff around it. Um but I just decided, you know what? No. I I'm just going to go all out. There there's no halfway here. Um so <laughs> she did. Thank you for making me do that. I did run out to both um, Hobby Lobby and Michael's this morning because I just, I I had a few things left for the Americana one, but I found this calendar that I'd stuffed away in the kitchen. So guess where these pages, these pages are going to go in the new Americana one. Yes, I know. I'm doing two at once because, you know, 
One can never be too busy. <laughs> One has to lose their mind. So I have I have that. I also found some um, some USA maps, state maps. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tea stain those and use those. Oh yeah, let me show you that one. Yeah, I gessoed it, and this one I think I am gonna use some some paint on it. This was a lighter gesso. The other one was a heavy duty. This one's light, and so you can still kind of see there. It's all it's all going to be covered up, but once again, I just um, the gesso will will help the fabric stay put a lot better. And I do use um, I do use Fabri-Tac. It is expensive, but you know what? Once this stuff is down, it's not coming up. I I do have. The Eileen's tacky glue, but you know what? Here in our humidity, sometimes it comes up. So um, I do I do use Fabri-Tac, and I only buy it with a forty percent off coupon. Okay, back to paper. So I have one, two. Okay, oh, I have a whole book of these. And <laughs> when I went over to to Hobby Lobby. I think this was Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure now. This might have been Joanne's when I went last week. I got that. I got a USA map. Oh, look at another USA map. And because the USA one, it's going to be fairly, it's fairly large. I mean, it's a eight and a half by 11. This one I, I actually might cut. And I might cut it here and then have the chair... As another page so that one I might oh, and the little books I thought well that'll be really cute <laughs> and then this cute little one at the beach <laughs> with the little bicycles and then this is one I've had and I I couldn't find this one anywhere <laughs> wasn't it Michael's wasn't it Joanne's wasn't it Hobby Lobby oh Here's a little camping one. Here's another USA map. And so I did spend money on these. And then the little bicycle and the flag. Now I did go, I did look on Etsy for um, Americana digital kits. And honestly, I didn't see any I liked. They were either too grungy or too kiddish or too cutesy. Um, I did find some images on Pixabay, so um, I'm going to print those off, and I'll um, I'll use I'll use some of them. So, uh, of course, I have all my fabric. I still have a bunch of fabric that's cut and ready to go. So, so I'll be working on these two, the Americana and the Farmers Market. So. Give me give me a, about a week to get those two done. So if you have any questions or comments, do leave them below and I'll get back to you. Okay, happy crafting. Bye for now.